at exactly 0430 Zulu, that is 11.30 p.m. Central Time in Missouri State of the United States of America on the 20th of June 2025, six U.S. Air Force B-2 Spirit long-range stealth bombers departed the Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri for a deadly mission over 11,000 kilometers away. The lethal land-based undetectable bombers that can't be launched from an aircraft carrier, and which were each carrying two GBU-57 massive ordnance penetrator bunker buster bombs that each weigh 13,600 kilograms, totaling to 27,200 kilograms of payload for each plane were destined for Iran for a special mission that would make the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's dream come true. And shortly after their takeoff, Eight U.S. Air Force KC-135 Stratotankers also took off from the Altus Air Force Base in Oklahoma and headed towards the Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, for the B-2s to refuel close to base while already in the air, since they were each carrying a payload so heavy that they couldn't take off with a maximum fuel load, considering the fact that the two massive ordnance penetrators that each of them was carrying had reached their payload limits. After the first mid-air refueling, the bombers headed west and stayed on course for about 11 and a half hours, until they reached Hawaii, where they were again refueled mid-air by three Boeing KC-135 Stratotankers that were launched from Hickam Air Force Base in Hawaii at 1557 Zulu, that is 5.57 a.m. local time in Hawaii, on June 21, 2025. From Hawaii, the bombers again remained on course west, and would be refueled mid-air over Guam Island in the Pacific Ocean, by four Boeing KC-135 Stratotankers that were launched from the Anderson Air Force Base at 0014 Zulu, or rather 6.14 p.m. local time in Guam on June 21, 2025. From Guam, the six stealth bombers headed southwest towards Diego Garcia Air Base, crossing the Pacific Ocean and entering the Indian Ocean, where they were refueled mid-air by two KC-135 Stratotankers that were launched from Diego Garcia at 14.30 Zulu, or rather 8.30 p.m. local time in Diego Garcia on June 21, 2025, and when all was set, they headed north towards Iran. The bombers reached their targets at 0347 Zulu, or rather 12.17 a.m. local time in Tehran on June 22, 2025, and would engage their targets for less than 10 minutes, with five bombers dropping a total of 10 GBU-57B massive ordnance penetrator bombs on the previously invincible four-down nuclear facility that rests in a fortress made of 80 meters of concrete beneath a mountain with thick concrete walls. Five B-2 bombers were used in this case because more than seven consecutive concentrated GBU-57B massive ordnance penetrator strikes on the same point were required to penetrate Fordow's massive concrete depth. A similar nuclear facility in Natanz that had been previously targeted by Israeli fighter jets was also hit with two more GBU-57B bunker buster bombs from the 6th B-2 bomber. And at the same time, the Isfahan nuclear site was struck by 30 BGM-109 Tomahawk missiles that were launched by the USS Georgia SSG N-729 submarine, that is part of the US Navy in the North Arabian Sea. So in total, the mission involved four mid-air refuelings from the United States to Iran, and after completing their mission, the B-2 bombers left the Iranian airspace at their own pace, and the mission was successful without detection because Iran's air defenses, like the S-300 and Bavar 373 struggle against such stealth aircrafts, due to the B-2's low radar cross-section, achieved through its flying wing design, radar-absorbent materials and internal weapon bays. The bombers were likely flying at very high altitudes of around 15,000 meters above ground, reducing radar detection range and coupled with their sophisticated electronic warfare systems, they further evaded any detection. Anyway, according to satellite images, around 20 trucks were seen at the entrance of the Four Down nuclear facility between June 19 to June 20, 2025, possibly transporting nuclear assets and other equipment, and signaling that Iran already knew about U.S. plans to strike its nuclear facilities.